goes. It's fine. What's going on Spartans? Today I just wanted to show everybody how to actually pull off some of the super bounces. This is a movement mechanic that was very popular in like Halo 2. For some reason we're able to do it on certain geometry within certain maps, certain areas. There's only two well-known spots that I know of right now, but I'm sure the community could find many more. Now hopefully this isn't patched anytime soon because I truly do believe Halo is better when, you know, movement is not nerfed or taken out of the game, when map traversal is not limited to like the highest degree. I think it allows players to not only have like a wider skill gap between, you know, movement and shooting and routing, but you know, in your gameplay. But I think it also allows you to express your gameplay through certain plays that you can make, whether it's in a given gunfight or a rotation around a map. I've been pulling off these super bounces on my Twitch stream like every day. It is honestly a ton of fun. Some of the crazy stuff that I've seen, some of the plays that I have made just doing something as simple as this super bounce. Also thought this would be a little bit of an easier video just doing like a how to. So without further ado, let me teach you guys how to super bounce. Now essentially all you need to do is look at this ledge that I'm aiming at right here and you want to jump and have your knees pretty much hit that area. I would like to describe it as your knees but if it's a little easier to imagine like below the hips or the thigh area of your Spartan, that's the area that you want to collide or have collision with this little ledge. Now when you hit it just right you're going to get pretty much what I call like a maximum speed super bounce or like the full effect of a super bounce where you will fly seamlessly across the map. There will be no no fall off, no speed reduction, no nothing. Now you can get like a medium sized super bounce if you don't hit it perfectly, in which case if you keep jumping off of the ground, you're still gonna carry that momentum through the super bounce. Uh, you know you're getting close to hitting it when you get what I call a baby bounce. Basically like you fly a few feet um, probably about the distance of like a little curb slide. So in all, there's about three main different variations of the kind of super bounce you can hit, um, depending on how accurate you are on hitting it. Now, obviously it's key to hit it at the perfect spot, just so you get like a full super bounce out of it. But there's some advantages to getting like a medium sized super bounce, if you will. Granted rockets always spawn bottom mid on Scar, so it could be a quick rotation if you're on red side just to go down to rockets. Keep in mind, this is the only spot I know of that it works for on Scar. It does not seem to work in my testing on the blue base side for whatever reason. The really cool part is you don't have to be looking at any certain area on this ledge for it to actually be executable meaning you could do it from a side jump or even facing backwards and hitting it, which is considerably harder, keep in mind, but it is possible. My biggest tip for this is to actually not sprint at all when you're trying to jump and collide with this ledge. If you sprint, you can still hit it, but I find there to be more consistency in the super jump if you just kind of walk jump into it. And yes, you can use a flag or any object that you can hold and pull this off successfully. Lastly, the only other super bounce that I know of that works successfully pretty much every time once you learn how to do it would be the super bounce on Behemoth. Now, something about this rock when you're walking into it at this direction that I'm looking at on screen actually will give you, I would say, a medium sized super bounce into the sky. You can get slightly smaller ones if you're almost hitting it correctly. And I have seen Mint Blitz hit it where you pretty much go up to the height of the skybox or the player blocker in the sky when you hit it successfully. How to do that is almost like getting it to give you, give you that baby bounce and then like jumping at just the right moment when you hit the ground again on that very same rock. But I must say in like the five or 10 minutes I spent trying to record this and practice it and try to hit it, I just couldn't get it. So this one's less consistent than the Scar Super Bounce, but you still could use this to make a player just get some kind of height advantage. Um, 
or maybe just impress somebody or, or fool around an infection. If anybody else knows of any other super bounces in Halo Infinite at all, uh, I would love to hear about it in the comments section. If this video helped you out at all, uh, maybe consider giving a like or subbing to the channel. We're so close to being partnered on YouTube here in the Halo YouTube channel. And if anybody wants to come over to the Twitch channel and play some games with us, we're always hosting open lobbies. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, links can be found in the description. My name is Nifty Noob, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!